What's happening guys? Welcome to my road to 230 kilo log press. So this is the first day we're back on the Richard Looney log, so the big monster log, so that's 140. See how that feels, really excited to kind of get back onto the big one and then it's just progressing from there up to 230 kilos. It's only taken me about five attempts. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. At the end of this month, I'd like to do a single at 180. So I'm doing five sets of four at 140. And there's always a lot of voice in my head personally that says, don't do it. I've got to kind of overcome that voice all the time. There was a, a nervousness, I think, going back into it. But then there was also an excitement. I know how good it makes me feel. That's why I still do it now. I don't go into strong man thinking it's going to make me feel absolutely shit. And that's why I still do it. You know, strength wasn't the main focus of the first session. It was more technique, getting those reps in, that work in. You know, we went and did hot and cold after. I did my swim in the morning. And that really helps with recovery for me. Obviously, it's going to get harder. The more we lift, the sore our bodies get. That's just part of the part of being a strong man and again I think that's where that anxiety and that nerves come in because you do know one day you know when we're pressing when I'm pressing 220 plus we're doing 500 kilos yoke runs whatever it is 130 kilo dumbbell presses you know after that days that's when our bodies start to really hurt and you think Jesus this is, this is tough because it is tough hopefully the the old body can hold up <laughs> That one feel a bit harder. You just lost your footing. Just a bit dizzy. When you look at the lights, it's just get a little bit dizzy, so. Is there any advice you can give to people that worked out before and then took a break and are struggling to get back into it? Or even anyone that's starting that just kind of lacks that discipline because they don't know that it's going to pay off. I think if I'm if I'm lacking discipline, I did it this morning, you know, I looked at myself in the mirror, am I happy what I see when I look in the mirror? No. Do I, do I know I can be happy? Yeah. And I, it was David Goggins, I listened to a lot of David Goggins, and he said that no one's going to care as much as yourself. So if someone reaches out to, like he said, you know, someone reached out to David Goggins and he said, to them, look, I don't care. I don't care if you're overweight or you're unhealthy, whatever, this is what he was saying. You've got to care more than anyone else. So that's what I'm saying in myself. I've got to care. I've got to take that responsibility. I've got to do that for me, not for anyone else. And that's what I've tried to do for the last little while, you know, take responsibility of my actions. So discipline, consistency, resilience, you know, all these things are really important factors to to grow and to improve on. And, and that's what I'm doing, you know. So waking up, looking at myself in the mirror, not being a little and not pushing out when I've got to go and do my cardio and I've got to do my cold water stop listening to that little voice you have to do it because this is what we do this is why we do it so usually on a Tuesday Tom and I will go in and have a, a pressing day so this is like a supplement to my log press so we go in and we always start off with push press we went up to I believe it was 120 kilos um, which is still relatively light for us but again we just do it nice and slow and gradually and the weights will come on so so after push press we go in and do strict press as you can see here Tom Tom's nice and solid there's no leg movement 
it's proper strict press and this really works on the raw power of her shoulders which is I find really good for a walkout. So after the barbell work we always go on to some dumbbells so here we are doing some flat dumbbell press. Again, this is more kind of getting the blood into the muscles, getting blood into the chest and the shoulder regions. We go on to some face pulls, which again is really good for shoulder health, I find. If I'm pushing my chest in, I always like to open up my chest and make sure my posture is always open after I finish a pressing session. So this is one of the reasons why we do this. So the last exercise today is tricep push downs. Uh, we like to do these, it gets nice and pumpy. The triceps get nice and full of blood with this one. It helps us build a big press. So that's all our accessories done. If you want to check out some more accessories, more programs that we do, please go on to www.stoltmanstrengthacademy.com. Uh, need to be quicker than that, boy. You just get here. How's your week been, brother? Nice, yeah, peaceful. It's been good, mate. Out to New York soon with Kush, so that'll be nice. Nice little break. Hit a decent log today. And then go out and enjoy New York for a little cheeky VK, as the Americans say. So, yeah. Special reason you're going to New York? It is Kush's 30th birthday. And also my birthday as well, but no one cares about that. It's nice, it's so hot in here that you can leave your sweaty t-shirts up when they dry by the time you come back. How's the smell? Mmm, oh, victory. That feel good? Easy. Well, not easy, but it was okay. <laughs> Big 180. Lightweight. Let's go. This is what we do. This is why we do it. And there's always a little voice in my head personally that says, don't do it. Stop listening to that little voice. Nice. I almost said a Tom and broke the log. That's better. When was the last time you hit 180, roughly? Probably before Worlds, so. What was the difference between the first attempt and the second one, do you think? Um, a lot of time, uh, just because I haven't pressed 180 for a long time, sometimes your body, or for me, sometimes my body kind of goes, oh, that's like, that's dead heavy, what are you doing? So the first one I took the weight, felt okay. It's just maybe my, I think my upper position wasn't quite right, my feet were a bit narrow. Um, and then the second one, my body knew what it was going to feel like, and then that was it. Sometimes it just takes a, a couple of turns. I've been in the gym and I've pressed. I know it's there, and it's like on the fourth time I get it. So sometimes you just got to like persevere with it, and it will come. Mentally, I know I'm capable of pressing 180. Two thirty in the bag next year, Giants Live Glasgow. Call on Darren, make it happen. So thank you for watching the first episode of the road to 230 kilos. We're still a wee bit away from 230 kilos, but I set myself a goal at the start to say I wanted to hit 180 
um, by the end of this month. So really happy, you know, I started, I think Tom and I were doing 120s initially, and then built it up, and I set myself a goal before we went out to New York to hit 180. So yeah, really, really pleased. I knew I didn't hit it the first time, but I think it's really important to remember that, you know, it doesn't always go right the first time. You get a second chance, keep going, keep doing it. And I think that's what, you know, we prove as well. So keep going, keep being resilient. Thank you for watching. Thank you to Harry and Tom for the awesome training partners. As always, guys, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. If you want to see 230 kilos, comment on Giants Live, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. 230 kilos, Glasgow Giants Live, 2023. Let's make it happen. So this is the... This will be the third week this spicy t-shirt is left here for. The beauty with the Stolpman merchandise is that you can air dry it, it doesn't need to be washed.